So let's continue the discussion on next type of study, which is a cross-sectional study. <coughs> so a cross-sectional study is an observational study. So what do you mean by that? So here also, we do not have a non-randomized sample. Now here, the difference between other types of studies and a cross-sectional study is that exposure and the disease are determined at the same point of time. So the exposure and the disease are determined at the same point of time in a given population. So here, this type of relationship that we are looking for, the difference is that the temporal relationship, which is over a, same, over a, over a given amount of time, cannot be determined. So this is the main point in a cross-sectional study. How do you start a cross-sectional study? So we do have a defined population. And here we take the data on gather, gathering the data on exposure and disease at the same point of time. And then we ascertain four possible groups, people who are exposed and have the disease, people who are exposed and do not have the disease, people who are not exposed and have the disease, and people who are not exposed and do not have the disease. So based on the four groups that we classify, then we can analyze the data using a table. So we form the table of exposed, not exposed, disease, no disease, and then ascertain the data based on the two conditions. Notice that this is a study that can use both. So notice that it is a combination of a cohort study and a case control study. So it can be ascertained as both sides. So because it uses both, we can consider the data that we consider here as prevalence of the disease. So we can consider the prevalence of exposure in disease and not, not, not diseased people. And we can also ascertain the disease, prevalence of the diseased in exposed and not exposed community. So an example of cross-sectional studies are generally the nationwide surveys that concern the population-based surveys that are conducted by National Council for Health Sciences and also other agencies. So when we consider that, for example, National Health Interview Survey, National Health and Nutrition Survey, China's National Prevalence Survey, all of these are examples of cross-sectional studies. Exposure or disease-specific cross-sectional studies are diseases like the studies like National Cross-Sectional Study of se on Sexual Violence and the Risk of HIV Infections among South, Asia, South African school people and VA cooperative study on the prevalence of hepatitis C. That's also another example of a cross-sectional study. So what do we use for a cross-sectional study for? So it assesses the prevalence of the exposure and or of the diseases of the population, in the population. So it also provides clues for further research in the etiology of the disease. So whenever you see this term etiology, it's the origin or the point at which it starts. So where has it started? So this is the main example of a cross-sectional study. So we discussed three types. One is case control, cohort, and cross-sectional. So these are the three types of studies, study designs that are generally done. So with this, we end the types of study.